Remember when employees could expect a steady career ladder to climb at companies? Those days are long gone. In the digital age, even office veterans face nonstop restructuring and role disruption. Just look at the data. The median job tenure for American workers is just over four years now. Switching employers frequently pays off. Studies show sticking around for over two years leads to 50% lower salaries on average. Loyalty is scarce. Layoffs are routine, but they also breed resentment, erode trust, and fuel a viral workplace reaction. Loud quitting. There is no quiet clock watching. Loud quitters openly undermine employers through negativity, defiance, and sabotage. The recent enormous tech layoff carnage has acted like gasoline, igniting this raging contagion. So should companies fear disengaged survivors more than recession woes? Do careless layoffs cause irreparable damage? The answer is clear. Loud quitting fallouts has already cost billions. Meta, Twitter, Amazon, Salesforce, the list goes on. Over 150,000 tech employees have been laid off since November 2022, and projections suggest more industries will follow suit with cuts in 2023 as recession fears mount. But the cost of these layoffs extends far beyond severance packages. The survivors left behind feel shaken and insecure about their own job stability. And this simmering distrust can reach a boiling point, transforming into the phenomenon known as loud quitting. What exactly is loud quitting? Experts define it as active disengagement. It goes beyond merely phoning it in. Loud quitters purposefully voice negativity, undermine their employer, and make their discontent clearly known through words and actions. According to Gallup's 2022 research, 18% of employees now fall into the actively disengaged category, up from 17% previously. That may seem a small uptick, but spread across the entire US workforce, the cost implication is massive, $500 billion or more. And evidence suggests this vocal rebellion is intensifying in the aftermath of prominent layoffs. In a recent survey by Quartz and Qualtrics, 50% of employees said layoffs damaged their trust in company leadership. One in four considered quitting altogether. This mindset ripples outwards in the form of loud quitting. At IBM, morale suffered after a series of opaque, stealth layoffs. The remaining employees openly blasted the company on social media, questioning its integrity after the unexplained cuts. The same dynamic plagued Twitter post-acquisition by Elon Musk. Despite no official layoff notice, widespread firings spawned viral negativity. Elon Musk's layoffs spurred immediate disengagement. Blinds lit up with resignees celebrating their freedom from Twitter jail. Still employed, others bashed Musk's reckless leadership and constant state of chaos. Loud quitting blossomed amid the carnage. As you can imagine, this defiant and obstructionist conduct does not bode well for an organization's productivity or culture, especially if it infects a sizable portion of the workforce. For employers, this is costly. Plummeting productivity, retention issues, higher absenteeism, training new hires to replace quitters, Gallup estimates actively disengaged workers cost the U.S. $483 billion to $605 billion per year in lost productivity. But equally damaging are the intangible costs. A downtrodden and vocally disengaged workforce projects an unappealing employer brand, deterring future applicants. Public venting on social media similarly strains external reputation. Complaining customers notice if frontline staff seem openly hostile about their roles. In short, loud quitting left unchecked can generate a vicious cycle of negativity and recrimination that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Engagement falls, and so does output, eventually requiring more layoffs, thus perpetuating the resentment and backlash. The psychology behind it is straightforward. Layoff survivors feel anger at their discarded colleagues, insecurity about whether they'll be next, and skepticism that executives actually care about employee welfare over shareholder profits. This toxic brew manifests in workplaces plagued by resentment, where louder personalities drown out moderated views. 
where misery loves company, breeding hyper-contagious negativity. Loyalty is rare these days. Have you felt pushed to job hop for better pay and opportunities? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and consider hitting the like button if you're enjoying this video so far. Now on to exploring the symptoms of loud quitting in the workforce. Loud quitting takes many forms. Some are subtle jabs, others are overt attacks, but all are toxic when they spread through a workplace. The signs begin small, rolled eyes in meetings, bare minimum effort on assignments, then the cynicism grows audible, backhanded compliments to management, snarky gossip by the coffee maker. Before long, the workplace hums with an undercurrent of unease, and production slows to a crawl. Openly criticizing management decisions and company policies spreads negativity fast. Lunchroom chatter moves online as loud quitters bash budgets, strategies, and leadership on internal platforms. This vocal frustration signals a major cultural divide. By spreading adverse opinions of the employer as a place to work, loud quitters poison the well for recruiting. Current employees venting publicly on review sites and social media drive away job seekers and damage the employer's brand. Refusing additional work and responsibilities allows loud quitters to work to rule. They follow policies to the letter, but reject anything beyond the scope of their role's strict requirements. This stonewalling of management's needs blocks innovation. In the worst case scenario, time bombs may explode, leading to damaging leaks and intentional sabotage. Anything to stick it to the employer that stuck it to them first. Of course, things rarely escalate to this unethical extreme. It is difficult to reverse unproductive attitudes once they have taken root. Resentment can grow and negativity can spread like a contagious disease. From minor complaints to outright sabotage, loud quitting poses a serious risk to businesses. Leaders must take action before small frustrations turn into larger cultural problems. With careful attention and a clear vision, even vocal skeptics can be re-engaged. However, if warning signs are ignored, it will only accelerate the inevitable collapse. Ultimately, loud quitting is not a random occurrence. It is often the result of real fears, uncertainties, and emotional disconnection. The real question is whether companies will have the courage to confront these human realities or risk being engulfed by cynicism from which many may never recover. So how can companies counteract the loud quitting risk when layoffs strike? During times of economic uncertainty, companies that consider layoffs must take into account a complex equation. While layoffs may provide short-term savings on wages, they can result in long-term damage to productivity, retention, employer branding, and even share price. Therefore, implementing layoffs can be a risky strategy. However, proactive leadership can still help avoid the negative consequences of layoffs. The first crucial step is acknowledging the emotional impact of layoffs on the affected employees. Cold and analytical responses that lack empathy will not persuade skeptical survivors to re-engage. According to a study by Quartz, one-third of employees who were at risk of being laid off would reconsider quitting their jobs if management rebuilt trust through transparent, honest communication and showed compassion for workers' anxiety. When organizations face challenges in retaining employees, it's important to examine their culture and processes. Do they view employees as disposable assets or valued partners? Reflecting upon this can help reimagine new psychological contracts with staff that prioritize human welfare and goodwill, not only financial motives. The rise of quitting culture can be attributed to various factors such as technological disruption, economic shifts, and the prevalence of meaningless jobs. These factors make it difficult for people to follow traditional career ladders. As digital transformation accelerates, even seasoned corporate professionals must continuously reskill themselves to avoid becoming obsolete. The automation of a bank manager's core duties, for instance, has turned a once prestigious career into a job that's interchangeable with customer service. Other fields are also experiencing similar disruptions where roles are redefined or replaced overnight. With jobs constantly in flux, it's more beneficial to switch employers to earn a higher salary than to wait for promotions. This incentivizes short-term thinking tied to personal payoffs rather than loyalty to the company. 
The service economy that revolves around temporary desires instead of essential needs creates jobs that lack permanence. Jobs such as concierges, social media managers, and brand ambassadors thrive on novelty but do not offer long-term value. These bullshit jobs only provide a paycheck and do not hold any meaning beyond that. This promotes transience over loyalty, which is worsened by economic instability and globalization. Corporations feel little pressure to retain or retrain employees when there are plenty of skilled workers available. Employees see companies as exploitative entities and tend to move on after they have milked them for opportunities. This cycle is self-perpetuating. Disengaged employees quit, while disgruntled ones criticize loudly instead of striving to improve the situation. This results in leadership losing touch with the reality on the front lines. They tend to double down on detached metrics, which worsen divides and contribute to the contagion of loud quitting. To restore engagement in this climate, corporations need to reimagine their purpose. Cold profits or empty values will not rally cynical employees. Instead, inspiration comes from making a real impact on human lives, solving pressing needs, and enabling human flourishing. When people feel that their work contributes to others, they invest themselves emotionally. The focus should be on the shared meaning of work, rather than just salaries and titles. It's important to value employees as integral partners, not just replaceable assets. The real essence of an organization should be revealed through daily human actions, and not just through grand statements or material benefits, particularly during challenging times. Loud quitting is not a random occurrence, but rather a result of unaddressed fears and uncertainties. Leaders can address this by showing courage and care, and by understanding the root causes of resentment. Without empathy and compassion, employee engagement will remain a fleeting transaction, and high staff turnover will continue. It is up to companies and their cultures to either adapt or persist. Will they learn from the damage caused by high staff turnover and adopt new social contracts where every employee contributes and benefits? Or will they ignore the signs of discontent and continue to operate blindly amidst growing dissent? From an operational standpoint, overburdening surviving teams will only lead to burnout and resentment. Rebalancing workloads, increasing headcount where necessary, and providing opportunities for upskilling are all important steps to help employees feel invested in their work once again. Loud quitting in the workplace is often a sign of underlying problems in company culture and leadership vision. Addressing these issues head-on with courage and tact can turn a challenge into an opportunity. The decision you face is whether to tackle the root causes of your team's disengagement or allow negative attitudes to spread unchecked. In times of uncertainty, employees need stability, authenticity, and optimism from their leaders. Companies that avoid impulsive layoffs and prioritize human-centered values will not only survive, but also foster the loyalty that builds true resilience. They will also set an example for other companies to follow. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching and consider watching our other videos right here.